Seven. Eight. <laughs> Two more. Control. Nine. One more, Steve. Feet planted firm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah, that's up good. I'll do the same. Good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach further this one get a spot on the elbow. Yes, sir. So uh, force reps we typically only do on the last set of an exercise. Ooh. So that we don't overdo the force reps. Two plates? Yeah, that's the two. All right, big set. I'll only step in once you've got to that limit. I don't get in the way. So I, I, I do get asked a lot about training. I'm going to cover this quickly. Um, what you'll notice right now is it's very much a bro split. So it's literally just shoulders today. Uh, my normal split up is usually like dual body parts. So they're normally two things. So it'd be like shoulders and triceps, maybe chest and biceps, back and rear delts. Um, quads and hams and the reason we're doing this in a minute is because my coach personally has tried to break the frequency down a bit in a, and allow us to get a little bit more recovery because we've been training very aggressively and very hard prior to this for about 10 weeks so essentially for me it's a deload so every 10 weeks or so we have to revise how we're doing in the gym um, obviously if you're lethargic if your appetite's crap if the body's looking beat up all these things come into place um, then you have to kind of either regulate your training in a way that's going to lead to less frequency or less intensity maybe um, or rest and uh, we're not really ones for resting so break the frequency down a bit um, limit the amount of workload you're doing on a, on a particular training day allow the calories that you are consuming to go a bit further than they would traditionally um, because obviously if I'm eating say 5,000 calories now training like this versus training like an animal a few weeks ago they're going to go a lot further um, the other thing I want to add to that as well is that this goes on for as long as you need it going for. So whether it's two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, you just monitor and see how you feel. Once you're fresh again, you can start pairing things up again and getting a few more sets. Last week we actually did the same training as we did this week, but it was three sets per exercise on everything. This week, some of the exercises have been limited to two to pull back the, the, um, the volume a touch more than it already was. So everything's adjustable in bodybuilding. It's not set in stone. It shouldn't be set in stone. It should be in accordance to how you're performing. Um, and that's why I just wanted to highlight that as well. Listening to your body. Listening to your body. But not to the point where you're being a bitch. <laughs> where you're like, oh, my body's sore, I can't train. <laughs> uh, if you come behind me in here, Steve. Yeah. Just come behind me. And then what I'll do when I need a spot, I'll just grab me from the elbows. And we'll elbows, go. yeah? Yeah. All right, son. All right. Here we go. Squeeze them out. One. Come on. Two. Good. Three. Big set. Four, come on, five, six, come on, come on, push it out, seven, big weight, come on, eight, come on, son, nine, push up, come on, yep, here we go now, come on, I'm with you, four reps now, come on, push out, one more at least, last rep, push, Ooh. push that fucking weight, yeah. Ooh, cheers man, cheers, Shoulders complete. Done. That's it. That's all it is. Five minute bike ride, cool down. And then post workout goodies. That's it. Always cool down. Um, that's another thing. Cool down is quite important for someone who's heavy. Um, when you're trying to keep blood pressure in a good range, it's wise to cool down. Cardiovascular exercise, low intensity, can really reduce blood pressure. So that's why I do cardio in the mornings, as well as a cool down after training. You have to understand that you need to train your heart in a manner, in a, ma uh, in a multitude of ways. Because if you just weight train, training your heart that way alone, later down the line can lead to certain problems when it comes to cardiovascular health. Uh, it can't all be anaerobic versus aerobic. It has to be a combination of both. And uh, unless you incorporate both styles of training into your your kind of lifestyle you're probably going to notice one suffering versus the other so try and get a good mix even if you're trying to pack on the pounds and get heavy and strong to be fair even more so then because you've got to remember a healthy heart it's going to be good good um, circulation good blood flow which is going to help with nutrient delivery pump etc etc and uh, the better you can do that the better you're going to respond from your training so try and remember that as well guys Whoa.